Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. This is a tutorial for a practical cow farm for survival. I have my other cow farm design which is a lot more complex than this one. But this one is more just a practical design. Something that you're going to get a lot of cow meat out of and leather. Well the other one's more flashy and not really as crazy or is not really as simple as this. So let's just get started on it. Alright, so I'm going to first do a quick demonstration. Let me get some cow eggs. And I need a mine cart. And also ender pearls, that's important. Okay, but what we're going to do here is we're going to drop down into the cow farm. And there's cows in here, and we're going to breed them. So to represent breeding, I'm just going to place some cows in here with cow eggs. Then we want to get out. So what do we do when we want to get out? Well, first we switch our game mode. And then we want to throw our ender pearl up through the middle of this hole here. Let's get it lined up and throw it. And that trip wire will cause it, the trap door to close below us. This is uh, just a simple ender pearl elevator. It doesn't look very nice. I'd probably do a better looking design in my world, but if you're looking for compactness, this is a solid way to do it. And then when you jump, that's one feature I like about this one, is that it automatically resets itself on jump. And then when you want to drop back down, you can just drop down here again. And when you want to get up, and then jump. So that's just how you get in and out. That's how I did it, but I'm sure there are many other ways to do it. You could always just put a ladder in the back if you want to do easy stuff. But anyway, let's get to how the rest of the farm works. So now that we've got some cows in here, you want to place a minecart on this track. And normally you would have a button run around here somehow, but I just have it over here for demonstration purposes. It'd be pretty easy to run a wire. I don't think I need to show that. But anyway, you just hop in the minecart. And you ride back and forth with like a sharpness looting sword, just killing off some of the cows. Until you get to a mount, like I want to keep that many. And you'll automatically collect all of their drops and most of the XP. Some of it will stay behind. You'll have to go in and manually get it. But then you could just hop out of the minecart. And it appears that something's gone wrong with... Oh, I forgot to load one of those dispensers when I expanded this thing. Here, I'll just fix that really quick. Normally you would get every single drop. So now if we press this again, there we go. And now that last little bit will come through. And it will never block the minecart because the slabs keep it stopping right here. And that also keeps the cows from getting out. So it's a nice and simple design. Pretty flexible on how you build it. It's just a general concept with water in the back and a minecart. I just like it because it adds some automation to it. But you still get the same efficiency that you get with your basic manual cow farm so now I'm gonna show you how to build it alright guys so the first thing we want to do is place dispensers like this however many long you want it doesn't affect the cow farm in any way so you can make it however long or short you want it really doesn't matter but I'm gonna make it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then we're gonna place blocks all over it like this just to keep the cows from getting out and next we need to put a wall here you can use fence or whatever, but it needs to be eight long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on both sides. All right, so now that we've got that, we want to put a block right around here. Let me get some slabs really quickly. I don't need these anymore. So we want to get some slabs and place them on the top half of this block up so they're upside down all the way down to let the drops through. And then we want to fly over here and put blocks here so the cows can't escape. So now that we have that, we have our killing set up for them. And now if you want to do the access, I'm not going to bother showing that on camera because I don't have a very efficient design for it or anything. It's just a nice simple design. But now all you want to do, say you want to run your wire so you can easily control the cows and how they breed and everything. Or not at all how they breed. If you want to easily control the water streams, you can just like, say, put a button right here. So I probably would do it. And then you hook this redstone up and probably put a repeater in there just for safe measures. 
yeah, that that is one thing the length will affect. If you have it more than 15 blocks, you're going to need to set up some kind of system to repeat the signal, which isn't too tough to do. I'll leave you to figure that out on your own. So anyway, the last step here is we want to fill all of these up with water buckets, so I will be back when I do that. Alright, so that's done. Now when we press this button, water will come out. And now all we have to do is take our minecart here, get this, and get a lever or something. And on both sides, we want to place blocks, run a powered rail all the way across. It doesn't have to necessarily be all powered rails. It depends on the speed you want. If you want more time to hit each cow, if you're not using a sharpness sword, then you can make it slower or whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to use all powered rails for simplicity here. And now all you do is you have this minecart going back and forth. And now you figure out your own access way here. You could have a piston door right here if you wanted. Pretty much anything is possible with this. It's a very flexible design. I just wanted to show off the general concept of it. So if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And here we'll just test run it really quick to see how it all works. Again with this new one. I don't really see how I could mess it up, but just to assure you that it works, we press this button, and we hop in our minecart, and we kill some cows. There we go. And you can see we're collecting the beef and the leather and the hot bar down there, and then you could just hop out whenever you want. And the minecart should not ever really stop. There's no reason for the minecart to stop. So there you go. That's a nice simple little cow farm there. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, see ya.